5 with Arts for Learning is made possible by the Indianapolis Foundation, a Central Indiana Community Foundation affiliate. Hey there. Thank you for tuning in to Take 5. My name is Anna Maria Kreider, and I'm a teaching artist for Arts for Learning Indiana. Today I'm going to share my code songs and quilt patterns on the Underground Railroad workshop. Before I get started, Take a moment to like this post and tag a friend. During slavery in the United States, slaves would use hymns and spirituals as a form of code. They would use the lyrics as a code to communicate with one another. Also, when they were running away on the Underground Railroad, they would use quilts and the patterns as an indication of which direction to travel, if it was time to travel, what pieces of equipment they needed to put together and tools, and that it was just time to get ready to steal away. That is one of the songs that if they saw the wagon wheel pattern, which is this pattern, they would know that it's time to steal away to their freedom. If they saw the drunkard's path, they would know that it's time to look out for a zigzag path or just the path was not going to be straight. It was going to curve. Gave them a good warning. So these quilts would be laid over window sills. They would be laid over doorposts. They would also be laid over fence, sometimes trees. Sometimes someone would just draw a pattern in the dirt so that the slaves knew which way they were going. This pattern is the star. And the star that they would look for when traveling would be the North Star that sits on the Big Dipper. So if you heard, follow the drinking gourd, follow the drinking gourd, for the old man is a waiting for to carry you to freedom. Follow the drinking gourd. That is a song that would be affiliated with this pattern. Another pattern that would be commonly used on the Underground Railroad would be the monkey wrench. Now, it's been said that the monkey wrench was the wise person on the plantation. If you wanted some wisdom, if you had a question to ask, you would go see this wise person on the plantation. They called that person the monkey wrench. Also, if you saw the monkey wrench pattern, you would know, pull your tools together. Let your children and family know if you had any with you that it was time to go. If you're running away by yourself, you just would need to know the items that you needed to take with you to keep yourself safe. There are certain tools that you'll need for this project and it's a lot of fun. Scissors, pencil, an eraser. If you wanna use trim on your pattern, as I did with the wagon wheel, trim. Cloth, if you want to use cloth on your pattern, and I used cloth for the center of this wagon wheel. I used cloth for the backdrop or background of this star pattern, cloth for this pattern, and cloth for the center of this pattern. Also, you'll need glue, cloth pins, crayons or pencils, color pencils, or you can use some like myself. I use Crayola brush pins. That is the, this pin here. I hope you like our project and I hope that you will have a lot of fun with this craft at home because I really did enjoy it myself. I want to thank you for joining Take 5 and be sure to join us the next time for another exciting program.